This is the KDA one month over rereading for the month of January 2023. That's Kadena. Uh, it's currently December 27, 2022, uh, 6 24 p.m. Eastern Time. Kadena, at the time of this reading, is currently 90 cents, just slightly over 90 cents at 9008. So the overall theme and behavior for the month, we have uh, some flex, it looks like some, some significant fluctuations. Um, it'll stand out on a, a year to date chart. Um, there's gonna be a peak here that'll stand out and it'll be a notable uh, fake out or shake out at the high um, that'll stand out again on a year to date chart. There's a significant bottom and top here. Um, and it looks like around the, the, the behavior around the high, we have um, price swings, equal amounts of bulls and bears inflow and outflow. So that's either means that we have price swings along a, um, in some rotation along a support level at the high, or it means that we do like some really big price swings throughout the month with the highs at the top of the price swings, or maybe it's both. Um, that's the way it, it kind of works. Sometimes that ends up being both. But in any case, um, it's it's a fluctuation. We go from a resistance level in a channel down to a support level, then back to a resistance, then back to a support, um, fluctuating back and forth within a channel, um, and it's crossed with the devil card. Behavior around the low, we have a significant trade opportunity. This will stand out on a year-to-date chart. Um, around the low, there's a significant trade opportunity. It looks like two trade opportunities near the low. Um, yeah, there's two two opportunities at the month's low, it looks like. Okay, so on the first, we have a rally that increases with momentum. Guys, keep in mind, you must trade. If you're gonna trade based on this information, you must understand, you must trade like I could be wrong because sometimes I am wrong. Other times will be like a day off. It often the days of the highs and the lows are to the day. Occasionally they're off by a day or two. It happens, it's occasional, you know, that's the way it works, my friend. So with that said, you must be prepared and go by the sequence of events more so than just the dates. Like if something doesn't transpire specifically on the day, it'll probably be the next day as i.e. the sequence of events stays in, in sequence. Um, so on the first we have a rally that increases with momentum moving forward into the day. And then on the second, there's something to do with um, Congress highlighted here. Uh, there may be a holding pattern and a pop and drop in there, but there's a notable, this is one of the most likely places to have the lowest low for the month here on the second. Um, on the second, uh, it looks like at the end of the day on the second or, or maybe overnight, there's a notable move to the upside, like a gap up and then we fall pretty hard. So we go from a lowest low on the second to a note, like a prominent uh, crest towards the beginning of the day, I guess on the fourth, followed by another new low on the, on the new local low, I should say on the uh, th third off of that crest. So it, it won't, it won't necessarily be low as low as the second or lower than the second, but after making this big move higher, what, which will take us to a new local high, We'll come back down and have a local low. What do I mean by local high and a local low? This is a local high. This is the highest high on the chart. This is a local high. This is a local high. This is a local high. Local high, local high. Local low. Lowest low. Local low, local low, okay? Um, And so there's a notable decline to that uh, prominent chaff there on the third on the fourth we rally looks like towards the end of the day especially we rally along diagonal uh, excuse me uh, bumping up against resistance uh, maybe breaking out towards the end of the day but there's a halting of a bullish trend um, somewhere between the end of the day on the fourth and and somewhere somewhere around the like the cusp between the cusp of the fourth fifth and the cusp of the fifth sixth there's a halting of a rally marked by a sharp decline through key support on the scale of a one month chart um, it looks like a prominent crest, both on the fourth and then a higher on the fifth. But that's followed by, um, or, sorry, at the end of the day on the, the fifth. And then that's followed by probably a gap down overnight um, to a prominent low for the month, a prominent trough, I should say. And then a notable move higher, successfully turning resistance into new support. Um, that's on the scale of a one month chart. 
The following day, we have sideways fluctuations. Uh, on the seventh, we have sideways fluctuations with a bullish trend, but it does proceed a decline. Looks like there's a decline at the end of the day or overnight, um, or in the beginning of the day on the eighth, we have this decline, but the trend secedes towards the end of the day and either at the end of the day on the 8th or on the 9th there's a fast sudden move higher and marking the end of that uh, period of decline <coughs> uh, a notable rally especially towards the end of the day on the 9th or overnight on um, into the morning of the 10th from which we decline um, creating another uh, tr prominent trough there so probably go from a prominent crest there at, uh, overnight on the 9th 10th to a uh, notable decline that'll take us to a prominent shelf on the 10th for the month. Um, on the 11th, oh, we also have some trade opportunities, which guys, I'll get into that in the paid version. Um, for those of you that are interested in the paid version, you go to the website tarotfortraders.com. That's F-O-R-4, um, tarotfortraders.com and, and put a type, a sign up for the, you know, put in this KDA as the ticker um, in the subscription. And order the $29 subscription, you'll get the paid version emailed to you ahead of the month. Um, that's the only way to get the paid, uh, the part that has the trade uh, information, what we see as the best trades. Um, but with that said, guys, we're going to continue. We've already passed by like one, two, three, four, five, six trade opportunities that I'll get into at the end of the video uh, for the paid version. Um, on the uh, 11th, we likely open higher because... We have this prominent trough on the 10th and then a notable decline on the 11th. So we likely open higher on the 11th and then there's bear, uh, bearish price swings and a sharp drop that'll stand out on a one month chart there. On the 12th out of a decline, there's a notable move higher from the bottom of a range to the top of a range. I'm advised to be very cautious around the high midday there. Um, I may be, in, um, I may, I may want to make like some sort of trade there. I'm advised not to do so there on the 12th. Um, to be cautious because things don't seem, won't go as expected. Um, on the 13th, notable move higher out of overbought, ter or excuse me, out of oversold territory or to fill a previous gap down. Um, on the 14th, we likely gap down overnight and then there's a notable move uh, off of a support level, a notable move higher standing out on a one month chart there on the 14th. And then on the 15th, we sell off uh, considerably from an over, uh, overbought crest or peak there on the 15th. It's a sell off that'll stand out on a one month chart um, and takes us to another prominent trough for low there on the 16th. Um, there's price swings on the 16th. Um, uh, another trade opportunity there as well. And then on the 17th, I'm advised to be very cautious, multiple falls. Multiple false tops on the 17th. On the 18th, we have um, selling from a near overbought territory, uh, from a near overbought crest or peak. <coughs> on the 19th, there may be some sort of merger or a decision between two leaders that's highlighted here on the 19th. Either that or we have like a, one of those moves where it's like a move higher and then a triangular like retracement. You make a triangle, it's like a full retracement back down. Um, sometimes there's a holding pattern involved in there. It looks like price swap fluctuations actually there on the 19th because um, it, it does correlate to the, uh, to, the, to the theme card. And then on the 20th, um, looks like on the 20th, we have a notable move um, either overnight or in the, or during the day on the 20th to reach the lowest low. This is the second place where we're most likely to have the lowest low. And like I said, there's it looks like there's two places where we would most likely have the lowest low. Um, is I'll, I'll get to that at the end. Um, most likely the lowest low, uh, the second and the 20th both have a highest probability of lowest low. It looks like there's probably a crest there between the 19th and the 20th. So we go from a prominent low on the 19th. Maybe we have uh, like a gap up or something uh, uh, overnight. And then we have a notable drop to a lowest low there um, on the 20th. On the 21st, we gap up overnight and then we decline again through multiple support levels and create another prominent low. Um, on the 22nd, another trade opportunity in the midst of a U-shaped dip um, that forms near the, the intersection of two perpendicular diagonal trend lines. On the 23rd, we have a crest midday that's easily missed, followed by a decline through multiple support levels. I'm 
so sorry. We have a crest there. Um, either midday or at the end of the day there. There's a crest that's easily missed and we, we decline there uh, through multiple support levels on the 23rd. On the 24th, most like, like a mo highest probability of being, our, one of the two places with the highest probability of being our highest high um, there on the 24th uh in the midst of some sideways rotation along key support um there's also a correlation there to the sideways fluctuations along uh, support that we have um as the high correlation so probably a highest high there um on the 25th notable move higher probably open up lower on the 25th and then there's a notable move higher um, successfully, we, we successfully uh, off of support move higher. Um, looks like there is a low at the end of the day there, like a, a day's low at the end of the day on the 25th and probably a prominent trough there at the end of the day on the 25th. On the 26th, we have a failed attempt to break through key resistance followed by a decline through key support. What's interesting about this resistance is that technicals will lead us to believe that we're gonna break out through it. Instead, we, we fail to and we break down through the support. So what happens is we usually with the disappointment card is prior to the disappointment card's energy, there's a moment where we, we attempt to break through a resistance. We don't break through it and we turn around and we falsely establish support, which it looks like we, we do that failed attempt to break through resistance on the 24th. And then we falsely establish support at the end of the day on the 25th, it looks like, followed by this big move. And then we come up against that price level again on the 24th, probably towards the end of the day, maybe. I don't know, somewhere on the 20, uh, sorry, on the 26th, maybe towards the end of the day, but on the 26th, we come up against it again. And, and because we have that false establishment of support on the, at the end of the day on the 25th, on the 26th, people are expecting us to break through, but instead we don't. And there's a notable decline overnight um, to the downside, either overnight or at the, at the start of the day of the 27th, there's a notable de decline to the downside. Um, I'm advised to be cautious midday at a low, and it looks like we have another, move, like a significant move higher towards the end of the day. So quite a bit of, uh, looks like price swinging there on the 20, uh, 27th. On the 28th, we have another prominent low for the month, a trade opportunity, and there's crisscross back and forth through the same price level three times, confirming a bullish trend. At the end of the day, at a crest or peak, there's um, somebody speaking, some important speech or some, some sort of speaker that'll be important in the news or on headlines. Um, what they're speaking of, there, there's intentional deception going on there. Do not trust what they're saying. On the 29th, we have, we're, we're bound by a, a range at, on the 29th, looks like the upper end of a range we're bound by. And then on the 30th, we revisit a past um, support level that was recently an opportunity. It looks like that support level that we established around the high on the 24th, at least momentarily. Um, so in the midst of some sideways rotation, there'll be a sharp dip um, taking us away from that prominent high. This is the 30th this is the second location where we're most likely to have a prominent high. And then on the 31st, another prominent uh, low after seeing that mo uh, 30th is the most li second second place where we're most likely highest probability to have the highest high, I should say. And then on the 31st, after creating that highest high, we have another prominent low for the month. And there's a trade opportunity. A male leader of nations is highlighted and probably the establishment of some sort of crucial support there. Um, the sneak preview card for the following month is the art card in the sense of that we're ending up on the, on the highs. Um, for the month, it looks like we probably have a notable decline, um, like a full retracement back down to where this big move to reach the highs for the month of, of January started. We'll likely have a full retracement back down to the lows um, in the month of January based on what I'm seeing there. All right, guys, we're going to get into the questions and answers, see if we can identify some extra information about price levels. Um, and we'll also show you the shuffle. And then after that, we get into the paid version. Stay tuned, my friends. Okay, this is the Q&A for price levels. And for those of you that are interested, we have, um, I overwrote the file, it was created originally yesterday, but um, I had to make it right side up. So I have here created today at 10.55 p.m. That's J December 27, 2022. Um, and that's this file right here. This is the KDA Kadena one month overview reading for January, 2023. It's currently December 26, 2022, approximately 10.20 p.m. Eastern time. KDA at the time of this reading is 0 0.9035, just, uh, just over 90 cents.
is KDA's lowest price level of January 2023 taking place on January 2nd, 2023? Yes. Is KDA's lowest price level of January 2023 taking place on January 3rd, 2023? Yes. Is KDA's lowest price level of January 2023 taking place on more than two of January 2023's days? Yes. Is KDA's lowest price level of January 2023 taking place on January 20th, 2023? I got the Unicursal. And I got a yes. <coughs> Does KDA's lowest price level of January 2023 take place on more than three days of January 2023? Does, does KDA's lowest price level of January 2023 take place more than on, on more than three separate January 2023 days. How do I ask that? Is KDA is KDA's high? No, I'm gonna go with that. So that's the lowest. We got a low slow on the second, the third, and the twentieth. Um, <coughs> Does KDA's lowest price level of January 2023 take place? on January 27th or tw January 28th of 2023. Huh, interesting. We may see it again there, like on the cusp, like on the, the, the afternoon of the 27th or on the 28th in the morning. Um, is KDA's highest price level of January 2023 taking place on January 24th, 2023? Yes. I'm gonna make sure that's a yes. Sorry for the coughing, my friends. Does KDA's highest price level of January 2023 take place on more than one day within January 2023? Yes. Does KDA's highest price level of January 2023 take place on January 30th, 2023? Does KDA's highest price level of January 2023 take place on January 26th or 27th of 2023? Interesting, I got, I got the queen of discs again there. It's possible that we see it here with this this disappointment because with the disappointment we would come up against this resistance that we failed to break through and then we just stop establish support falsely rise back up look like we're gonna break through on uh, when looking at technicals but instead we decline um, so that's pretty solid guys uh, and there you have it that was a shuffle all right guys we're gonna get into the paid portion um, and go over all of the trades that we see as the best trades for the month of January for KDA. Um, if you haven't, uh, if you're if you're interested in the paid version, uh, you can go to the website 
tarotfortraders.com. Uh, click on uh, our services and then go to uh, custom monthly stock reading. It's 29 bucks a month, well worth it. We're doing a 98% average accuracy. Just put in the ticker that you're interested in and you'll get the paid version sent to you and you, uh, the, the, the private link sent to your email specifically and it can only be opened by your email. Um, and it'll, you'll get it before the public version comes out. Public versions are on the paid, ver the, uh, paid trades at the end. Um, and much appreciated, it really helps support the channel, my friends. I'll see you on the next one.